Okay, this is Kladak Records we are now in the middle of, and the complete staff is standing behind and beside the counter. Uh, you are like the manager, Jane, that's right, eh? That's correct, yep. So, uh, how long uh, is this uh, shop in, in business? Well, this shop here is, is in business one year, but we've been in business over 50 years. Um, and we have a shop in Temple Bar that's been in business since the late 1980s. Right, so now you you work in two shops. Two shops. This yes. one, Westmoreland Street. Yep. And the Temple Bar Street. Yes, and we also have um, a web business as well, which operates as a third shop. Very good, very good. Okay, um, you told me that the, uh, this business is owned by a member of the Guinness family. Yes, What's owned, the story about that? It's owned by Gareth Brown, who set up the company uh, over 50 years ago in order to promote Irish. Irish traditional music and also spoken word. So he liked recording poets speaking their own works. Um, and then the best exam examples he could find of uh, people playing Irish traditional instruments and also singing. Very good. I understand this. So now we're talking about the music because this is why we are in the shop in the first place. And these are two very big specialists. I don't know who of you is the biggest specialist. Well, Maybe she's, she. She's a player anyway. So she's, she's a player. George, a what player. do you play? I play the concertina. What's this? The concertina. It's like an accordion but smaller. Okay, this is a very Irish instrument, right? Yeah, it is. It was actually made in England, but uh, we've, we've stolen it over here, and it's a big tradition here now. Okay, maybe we can put the music a little bit uh, softer, that's no problem, yeah. to hear you better, because it's very interesting what you're telling. Yeah. Okay, but now about the shop, Sarah. How long have you been working in the shop? Um, on and off for 11 years now. I started. 11 years? 11 years. Then you started. must have been a baby when you started. I, yeah, <laughs> I was doing, my, I was doing um, school placement when I was in um, my fourth year of school, so yeah, here since I was 16. Very yeah. good. Okay, tell me, what do we kind of music do we listen to now at this moment? At the minute, we're listening to a singer from County Mayo. Her name is Jenny Mulvey, and this is her first CD that she made. Okay, yeah. oh, it's very good. Maybe we can do a little uh, 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 strong and then again softer to hear it a little bit. Very good. Okay, oh, and now, now it's your turn. Um, what do you think uh, is the es essence of Irish music? I mean, it's of course very famous. Everybody knows U2 and Bono and the Cranberries and uh, all these other uh, popular bands. Uh, I've, uh, but this is not exactly what the shop is about, eh? about U2 and the Cranberries, or also? No, we, we do U2 and the Cranberries and we respect what they've done, but we're more about the folk culture of Ireland, uh, the traditional music of Ireland. And Clada, the company, recorded some of the keynote artists of the folk culture of Ireland. Clada recorded the Chieftains, uh, who would have been probably, are probably the single most famous traditional Irish band. And okay. A lot of their great albums are on Clada. What does Clada mean? Clada, the Clada is a ring that is a token of love. Oh yeah, and I saw that. Yeah, yeah it's exactly. very, it's yeah. quite famous actually. Yeah, exactly, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, there's a, there's a, a bunch of them here. They're all clatter rings and they belong to, uh, to the collection of Garrick Brown, don't they? Because his family, uh, his family uh, had owned the ground rent of the village of Clatter in County Galway. I see. So, uh, once there. Okay, so what are the blockbuster sellers in the shop that you really sell the most of? What kind of music is that? Maybe uh, Sarah can answer this question again. Curiously, at the moment, the blockbuster seller is a Persian paper. Yeah. Seamus Heaney and Limo Flynn. Like it's an old enough recording, but it's still so popular. It's yeah. Seamus Heaney. Okay, I've heard yeah. of him. Yeah, okay, this is really popular. Seamus was, was, was a, a Nobel Prize winner? Nobel Prize, Port, port Laurel. Oh, oh, yeah, of the course. Port, Ireland's greatest poet. He passed away a few, day, a few years ago. So these are poems uh, set poems on music? And no. the Piper, the Piper, Limo Flynn, and uh, they, they take turns. He reads his poetry, he plays, either plays in, in together with him or else plays something that complements the, the message of the poem. Okay. In certain cases, the poems are about tunes that he will play. Okay, very good. So, um, uh, this collection, uh, are there any specific speci specialties? And you say this, is, this kind of music is very strong uh, represented in the shop? Oh, very, like, uh, I mean, there's all kinds of specialties within the music. Like, traditional music would be like, when you say Irish music, it's a whole family of different things. Like, Sarah plays the concertina, 
but there's like poets and fiddlers and pipers and accordion players, but groups and all sorts of singers in the English language and the Irish language. So there's lots of different facets to the music. Okay, very interesting. Uh, Jane, you want to show me some last thing? Because the last thing I wanted to ask is what are really important current developments, actual developments in Irish music? Uh, we, we heard now this CD, but are there, is there more that you say this is very important to mention from the last year or something, last two years? Yeah, I'm just thinking, I don't know, Skipper's Alley is the first thing I think of. Skipper's Alley? Skipper's Alley, Skipper's Alley, yeah, they're a band from Dublin. Okay. And, uh, they're definitely my favourite at the minute, and uh, they're absolutely fantastic, and the songs are very Dublin, which is nice to hear. Skipper's Ellie, thank yeah. you Sarah. Okay, we're going to listen to that in yeah. the second part. Okay. Rory looks a little bit uh, damaged, but now we are at the other uh, shop of Kladak Records in the middle of Temple Bar. And here we're going to again meet Jane, the manager. So here are the more famous Irish artists with, of course, this guy, maybe the most famous Irish artist of all. Pokes are London Irish, Snow Patrol. Okay. Yeah, this is also very good. Okay, could we put the music a little off? Thank you. Okay, so now we're in the other shop uh, of Kladak. Um, yeah, of course, um, it's well known that uh, there are huge developments going on in the music industry. Yeah. How do those uh, affect? this business? Well, we're a niche market, which gives us a, um, a slight um, advantage over some of the others, but still the mu music industry on the whole is on the decline worldwide. A lot of shops are closed in Dublin, um, a lot of shops are closed abroad, um, but we're still surviving. Exactly, exactly. So, uh, because you are a niche market, for this type of music. Correct. Yeah, Correct. exactly. And it would be very difficult for people to find everything of this type of music on the internet. So, um, if people are interested, um, then they come to our website and they can see what's available. Okay, this is a good ending and maybe then we can still re again put the music on because this was this uh, famous band which was mentioned by Sarah. Skipper's Alley. Skipper's Alley, yeah. Skipper's Alley. Yeah, Skipper's Alley. Yeah. Okay, this is, so now we're listening to one of the new, maybe... Hot young, young kind of Dublin traditional bands. It's interesting in what Jane said about, about the way, what the challenges the music faces, that a young band like Skipper's Alley would still elect to make their records, uh, uh, go, actually go and physically make a record for sale. So the world doesn't change that much. They're not giving it away for free on the internet. They don't want to give it away for free. Exactly. And, and bring it into us, into Clutter Records, they bring it for distribute. Very good. Okay, I wish you, uh, as all my clients, good business. And thank, thank you very, very much, much for this opportunity. Thank you very thank much you indeed. Thank you very much. Yeah.